so today I am inside the Excalibur. We are here to do a steak challenge. I also have Derek here with me. We're gonna be doing steaks, yay! So this is a pretty new challenge. This is called the T-Boner Steak Challenge. Um, it's on their menu and it's a uh, 48 ounce steak with nat macho nacho salad, double portion of loaded mashed potatoes, broccoli within one hour you get it for free and um, I think also a uh, t-shirt and it costs 80 bucks if you fail so wish us luck Team. look at all these funny t-shirts they have <gasps> oh boy this place is funny <laughs> ready to stick a big boner down my throat <laughs> shit is real shit is real <laughs> What's his set? Medium, medium is rare. that medium rare? No. I don't want the fucking shoe leather. She gets uh, the shoe leather. You get that shit? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You ain't gonna finish that, girl. I'll try. <laughs> Just you wait. Oh, really? Oh, this looks good. <laughs> yeah, I'd be done with the mashed potatoes, man. There it is. This mac and cheese. Yeah, that will gotcha. sell it, bro. Cool. You guys tell me when you're ready. Hey guys, so for this one, I got to do a voiceover because it was like a super duper loud in this restaurant. Um, so yeah, this one is found inside the Excalibur um, in Las Vegas, which I think is a pretty cool um, theme. It's like Camelot, King Arthur, like Renaissance style kind of like um, style kind of feeling um but yeah kind of really cute um just this restaurant <laughs> jake's last resort oh man it's it's a trip uh so this restaurant you're supposed to like the waiters are supposed to like be very rude to you like that's the whole theme of the restaurant like you're supposed to get treated really badly um but just like for funsies like you know like you get to talk back to the customers i mean talk back to the waiters and they talk back to you it's just kind of like that kind of vibe and i was like it's a very very interesting place to be and they give you these hats with some kind of derogatory you no know, like just like something a slander just a slander on on you pointing down or whatever it's just it's 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 not a child kid safe place let me just say that but yeah anyway they have a steak challenge over here and um i think me and derek are the first to do it at this location because it is a pretty brand new challenge and i do believe that at las vegas um this steak challenge is undefeated um but um the steak itself i don't believe it's like the biggest thing i've ever had like i've had bigger meats like the 72 ounce steak or 96 ounce steak like i've had bigger steaks before the steak itself isn't too much but there is a lot of sides there is a lot of broccoli there is a huge tray of macho nachos um there is also loaded mashed potatoes which i believe they say it's like a double portion of the normal size and a side salad uh, but i think the flavor overall is amazing just the only part that was ha giving me a very hard time to eat is the fact that um like close to the bone on the inside it was red and y'all know i usually get my steaks like well done you know like i was like struggling through this because um I, it, it's not that i can't eat raw stuff because i don't eat sushi as well a lot of people know that i just I really don't like the taste, the feeling of it, and I just, it's hard for me to stomach if I, like, and I, like, I was, like, trying to close my eyes and eating it, because if I, like, physically see it, it also gives me, like, a very bad, like, it, it's just, I don't like it, so, um, the way I was eating the steak, the outside was great, because the outside was cooked pretty well, um, but I actually told them I wanted it, like, at least medium well, so I don't know why they didn't cook it longer for me, like, I am so okay with my steak, like, tasting, like, tough, and, like, leathery, like, I'm, I know, like, a lot of people hate me for it, but I'm, like, I just, that's just the way I like my steak, and I'm totally fine with it, but, yeah, the inside was rare, it was soft, it was still, pff, I don't know, I, I could not handle the inside that well, but, 
Um, I tried to cover it up with like other flavors. So I was like putting mashed potato over the red parts just to kind of cover it up, just biting down on it so that the majority of what I could taste was the uh, mashed potatoes. Um, eating broccoli with my steak just to kind of like change up the flavors a little bit. Um, but yeah, we got through the steak. Um, it, like uh, the quality of the steak, this one is definitely a lot better than the big Texan I did at Texas, which was the last steak challenge that I did, uh, which I did appreciate. It's not like that steak was just bad. Like it was not a good steak, but this one was fairly good. I just wish they cooked it longer. Um, and then we moved on. I moved on to the uh, nachos. I actually really, really enjoy these nachos. So these nachos, I believe it is topped off with cheese, sour cream, pico de gallo, jalapenos, olives, um, a lot of cheese, <laughs> basically like a kind of like a very typical nacho. Oh, there's also some chili on there. So it was very moist. It wasn't um, like dry at all. You know, like the only hard part with nacho was eating it fast is the fact that they are chips and, um, you know, like it requires chewing. It's not, it's not like something you kind of completely slurp in because the nachos are crunchy and then, you know, you got to chew that crunch. Um, but yeah, um, I think me and Derek did both did very well, um, considering like we kind of went into this blind. They don't really have too much pictures on social media. I just know that a couple of guys came in and failed it. Um, but overall, um, my trip to Vegas has been so fun. I'm actually even thinking of moving here. I don't see much of a downside to moving to Vegas, like no tax, tax, um, no state tax and stuff. So yeah, anyway, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and i know vegas is such a great international travel destination spot so if you want this kind of like weird interaction very unique experience between you and the waiter i mean come like you can come and try it out so um yeah definitely a very cool place but overall i hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry it's just kind of like a boring-ish kind of voiceover because like there's not much i can do like the music was very very loud but anyway Thank you so much for watching this, you guys. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. super awesome cookies from my fans Nilo who came to my vet the other day look how cute these cookies are let's try this confetti one got some dessert <laughs> Ooh, look this is a big cookie mm. Mm -mm. Oh, this is good. Mm -mm. So, that steak was so rare. It was really hard for me to eat like the middle because it was literally like red. I ordered it medium well. <sighs> I hate rare meat. But overall, it was a pretty fun challenge. Mm. Mm. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, 
um please like and subscribe i'll see you next time bye, -bye. Hey guys thank you so much for watching like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise i've got clothing prints and stickers all up on there and make sure to check out my social media my facebook page um i do a lot of live streaming and on my instagram page i do a lot of giveaways and on my twitter page i also give a shout out to where i might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey okay and then check out my other videos and again make sure you subscribe thank you so much for watching guys see you next time bye bye